Hello there everyone and welcome back to this 1860s mod. Old, uh, 1860 old America. So we got Western pew pew pew. So at this point, I do believe we'll actually had this. I want to see what this is, steamboat training. Anyways, um, part 2 hasn't gone up yet. But I'm going to continue on the assumption that people want me to join the south. So I'm going to head over and join the confederates. And for the second episode, we had quite a bit of trouble. The camera died, which was nice, although it did it at the end, so most of it, uh, you had the camera. Um, the music that I had set up, some part, two, two pieces got claimed, so it's going to have a weird sound on it. And I forgot to go offline, so we had loads of messages up in the corner. And people steaming me. But this time around, I've hopefully set everything to work out perfectly. So, uh, why is it called Steamboat? It's, it seems to be a normal trainer. Oh, he's on a steamboat. Jesus Christ, look at that. Ah. Oh. And then I can draw my revolver and I can shoot this gourd. Yeah. Let's do some, uh, see if we can actually do some proper ranged General K. Um, move on to practice. Yes, I am. Okay, no, okay, this is... Is this punchy punchy track? Why did I didn't get a weapon? How am I supposed to win against that guy? How am I supposed to win? If I didn't get a weapon. I'm gonna punch him. Also, I'm not too sure about my character's face. I'm not sure if I wanna change that around a bit. But this is stupid. Spam attack! Ah. Ooh, I actually did win. No, pick up the knife. Howdy, partner! That was a good fight. Uh, no, I'm not ready. Let's. I wanna do ranged weapons. What bow? Crossbow sh at 30 yards. Hopefully, I'll get. Ooh, or this goes for a crossbow. Okay. I've got loads of shots for it, so I can stand there and shoot the gourds all day. I don't think it actually shoots like a swarm of bullets. I think it only shoots one bullet, but it's one strong bullet. Which is kind of a shame. Oh, I'm not actually sure. Let's shoot at something closer. Uh, it looks as though it might actually shoot a couple of bullets. Shoot at the water. I can't see. Uh, let's shoot at the water. That should be easy enough. Okay, that doesn't show. Uh, let's shoot at the ground then. That doesn't show either. Shoot at the barrel. Okay, nothing basically. I would imagine to hit bloody gourds this distance it's kinda weird doing practice shot with a sword off shotgun you know what yeah I'll give that up um how about bow and arrow what do I get then 20 yards yay now I get a revolver if he really looks like my name is Steve Hello, my name is Chief. Not that he looks like the guy, but l he looks like he would say that. He comes in and, who the bloody hell are you? My name is Chief. But he's one hell of a gunslinger. I think I got, oh, there's one. Yeah! 
got all of them. Did you see? Did I get all of them? Yeah, I think so. So shouldn't this end the thing? I got every single one of these pumpkins. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh, they, they're looking at me training. Um, yeah, this wasn't that fun. Let's head over to... Okay, we can't cross here. We have to cross somewhere else. Not sure where we're going. We did find, we did meet Jefferson Davies in the last episode. Let's see, where do the... Oh, there we go. That's how it is. Okay. So where do we want... What's up with these places? Hidden Mine, Pirate Hideout, Augusta Suburbs. Uh, oh, L Stonewall Jackson. I want to go in and I want to meet Stonewall Jackson. If he's here. Lady Linda. Okay. It's very... So this is where... Stonewall Jackson lives, apparently. I like his art, though. Let's go around the fort. Take a look. Take a look, see? Take a gander. Wait, this is General Jackson's fort. This. A heap of rubble. This is not very impressive, and I think this... Yeah, this is a British horse. Hmm. So this is General Jackson's great fort. How swell. Um, let's head over to... Pad... Padashow? Padash... Padush... Padakow... I don't know. We call it pad. Head down to old pad. Sure thing, I walk around the city. Okay, it's night. I'm riding in. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start recruiting confederates. Confederatos. We'll head down south towards New Orleans. Go in there. We'll uh, I think we'll start kick out the U.S. recruits. Bye. And we'll keep the uh, Confederate ones. I'm going for hunters. What does the sailor? U.S. Marine, Navy trooper. We're riding here across the great open. Oh. What do you want, bandit chief? Said. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha! Those prisoners are only gonna be free if you <laughs> if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. My name is Chief. And we charge the enemy. We're gonna hold here. Boys, just here as they come over the cliff. Oh, we're gonna have the sun in our eyes. But as they come up there, we're gonna be shooting them. Oh, we have a. We can hide them behind the wall. Oh, there's even a cannon there. Hold here, boys. Oh, there they come. Wait, what is he doing? Oh, crap. Wait, he's using his revolver to punch me. I need to remove the um, the things that looks more scenic. The things ab above their heads. Well, it makes it a lot easier to see who's who. Where's he going? There he is.
I'm the best gunslinger in the West. Did we get them all? No. There's one. It looks like we lost quite a few people. It takes an awful long time to reload these pistols. Uh, we lost two men. And uh, we killed a... Ooh. Is this a good horse? Mexican blonde chestnut. Speed 52. Maneuver 44. Maneuver 50. Charge 70. Uh, can cu crush through blocks. Bonus again. Take some of this. We can sell it. Oh yeah, we have cotton bale. We need to sell, sell that crap. Let's head over there, that little village. Oh, another unit of bandits. There's a lot of bandits, and they don't seem to be afraid of attacking us. Form single row. Oh, they're coming at us, boys. They're not very accurate, my peasants. The enemy is riding straight into us. I shot the horse instead. You! That went really quick. We gained five, re five renown. Ooh, what's this? Modify star twin revolvers. We're gonna check those out. We take the horses, they're pretty expensive. Modify bullets, 400. A hat was for uh, like 300. Gotta be wary when right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mounted raiders. Renegades. Mount ra There's tons of them. Where they're all coming from? And why did they all decide to fight me? Spread out. Spread out. But hold this position. Jesus Christ, there's loads of bandits! They're just charging on, they're not even firing. What the hell are you doing? Oof, 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 oof. Get your beard out of your bloody face! Good thing about the shotgun is it, it reloads quickly. I like I like that when you just sweep them off the horse. Who? Where's the last bastard? Get her dude! Oh, these are crap actually. We don't want any of those. Uh, and then this is another six, and then after that, there's another six. I'll probably make a level though, that's pretty good. Although my guys are terrible aims. They're really terrible. Hold on, boys. This is a job for me. The best gunslinger in the West. Okay, maybe I'm not watching that kid. <laughs> I'll get this last bastard. Wee we seem to get rid of these guys pretty darn quick. And no casualties this time around. Let's get rid of some of these and the horses. Take the horses and that. We'll get a lot. Of, I guess, yeah. I think we're gonna go on way around. We seem to end up at the same place. It's kind of strange how my guys keep changing uniforms in between. I guess they're sweating. So they have to... Uh oh yeah, I can zoom. Because I'm some kind of special... Superhuman. 
goes really quick shooting them down. Pew, pew, pew. But there's only like five of them. And they're charging straight at us. I'm I'm looking at making tons of money from this. We're gonna go around the renegades. Uh, otherwise I'll get stuck here fighting the renegade. Oh no! Bloody hell. Where did they all come from? No, but I brought steel. Bloody hell. We just, there's so many of them and I'm just murdering them. Where the hell did they all come from? Why are there so many bandits in the wild west? And why do none of them fire back? Oh, he actually... He actually knifed me, that bastard. Oh yeah, I'm gonna test out the... The, um... The two double pistols. I'm not sure if it actually works. Should probably not have shot the horse. Gain, gain quite a bit of money from selling the horses. Let's uh, see about using these ooh look one on each side hopefully I'll go <sighs> so many bloody bandits so many bloody bandits okay let's test it out do I have why don't I have double it's just picking up one I thought I had double pistols maybe if I shoot out all the bullets with this one I pick up the next one. Jesus Christ. Look at the fire coming out of front. How many shots have I fired? It's more than there must be in the revolver. It might, s maybe it symbolizes that I'm, ooh, it goes quick to reload as well. It's not as accurate as my old one. Well, let's actually test how many shots they have. We went from 58 to... Let's reload, 58 to... 46, so 12 shots. So it's, yeah, it symbolized both of them. Even though I'm not doing... But that would have been a lot cooler. <laughs> they could have made that work. Ooh, revolver. Get rid of the boots. We're gonna make so much money once we get into town selling all this crap. Given, of course, that the bandit won't just... Oh, well, the bandits haven't killed anyone, so... We leave them in the dust. How many? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm guessing everyone. Footman. What's the difference between a footman and an infantryman? Infantry, footman. I think we're gonna go for infantry. It looks like he's got uniform. Uh, footman goes for best best shooter. Okay, so footman goes for infantry vet veterans, and these go for sharpshooters then. Mountain man, settler sharpshooters. Sailor go for navy troop. He looks uh, US, so we're gonna kick him out. Take a hike. Ike. Wee. And it seems like I got a level. Ooh, I got I got two actually and I'm totally missed it. I think we're gonna need what are we gonna need? Horse archery is not is there sh horse shooting? No. Horse archery. And then draw and shoot. We all let it have points in that. Looting maybe, training, tracking, spotting, inventory management. Prison, man prison management we might, and leadership. And then I guess pole arm. James! I'm also thinking about maybe changing that. Oh, great. More of these people. They're coming in fast! 
Has my aim improved? Maybe a little bit, I'm not sure. Yeah! Here we go, boys! We sure did. This is how we conquer the West. Yeah. Uh, the hat. We carry with us a lot of horses. They'll be able to. Can we recruit people in here? I don't think so. Ah, uh, no, not more renegades. No. <laughs> Where did they all come from? This is starting to become annoying. And I'm imagining that they're always gonna just charge you. So, even if we have the biggest bloody army there is, we're always gonna come up against all of these idiots that, you know, just charge on. They're not even shooting back at me. It seems as though my, my allies don't do any sh of the shooting. They have, I don't think they've shot anyone. It's just me shooting people. Not sure the holster seems unnecessary. Some of your soldiers are ready to be upgraded. Recruit to... What did I do? Infantry of footman. This goes for veterans and these go let's go for wait footmen then, I think. Footmen. Because we want normal soldiers. We don't want, don't want that many sharpshooters. We have got these people to be sharpshooters for us. The settlers. And here we make our way to Baton Rouge. And then we make wait, you're your relationship with General Napoleon III is deteriorated. What's up with Napoleon? Why doesn't he like me? What's up with River Pirates? Join the showdown. What's the sh... Ah! Oh, I can make a lot of money here. Hopefully it's... Oh, shit! Where the hell did he shoot me from? It's out there! Watch out, boys. I hear shots coming from outside there, somewhere. I was hoping most, most of them would spawn on the boat. Kalashnikov. Oh, he runs the showdown, I guess. At Baton Rouge. No, we're not in Baton Rouge. We're in... Where do we go? We go... We go oh, New Orleans. We're in New Orleans. That's where we are. The hell? Looks dangerous. I'm guessing they're up. <laughs> Boom. Look at the fight that took place here. Boom. Yeah, I won. I'll place a bet on myself, a hundred dollars, find the next round. Forge Frontier Sun. Where is this? Sailor. Boom. <laughs> this is actually when they when it works like this and it's not like a messed up when the tournaments are like messed up that they are in some mods it's actually kind of fun I like your posing boy oops that was a friendly boom and I like them flying away like that Although it's probably, um, or it is, um, rather unrealistic, but it looks it looks cool. 
Ah, oh, damn it! I was I was afraid that was gonna happen. Uh, the only man remaining undefeated this day, Indian Witcher, wins the list in the glory of the showdowns. Did I get any money for that? I'm guessing not. Buy a ship, five thousand dollars. Go to the marketplace. Let's sell our stuff. Let's start with cotton. Uh, then we get wait, 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 wait. cotton. We get three hundred for it. And we get 300 for horses. We need to increase the uh, level of... Um, what's it called? Trade we have. Because this could have made so much more. Two Remington revolvers set. Hmm. Range... It's got better range. It says two. So is it two? Like one on each side. It looks better because this one, there was two. It was kind of unrealistic to have a. Or may, I don't know. Was there 12 shooters? Can you have. Yeah, but. the Yeah, I think there was 12 shooters, but. Grain. 500. Yeah, I think we only need one sack of grain. We'll receive four thousand dollars. Ooh, look at this. Volc volc volcanic pistol. It's very expensive. But I don't think it's that good. Maybe we need something like that to throw down when uh the enemies get close. Let's see if there's are any uh Canada uniform what's this top hat blonde hair face what's this why would you want that maybe we should have a black hat yeah I think that looks nicer on us I want to have this sort of uh, the uh, suave uniform but for the confederates so I match with the uniform I usually wear for line battles I think that will be swell. And yeah. Let's head to the governor's mansion. Oh. They're all punching around. Maybe I should check the pistol so it does have. Very nice. Let's see who's in here. The U.S. Pretender. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, He's this is the rightful heir to the president presidency of the United States of America. And who is this? I'm Prince Sebastian. Some of my men call me Sebastian. I'm a prince of Great Britain, but by all right I should be king instead of my cousin. I thought U.S. federal government was ruled by <laughs> President <laughs> President Abraham Lincoln. My father died when I was young, leaving me in care of his brother, the regent. What? The, the vice president, I mean. But rather than hold the presidency until I came of age, he usurped it and used his newfound powers to accuse my mother <laughs> of adultery. <laughs> And to claim that I was not my father's son. She was executed for treason. And I was declared a not related. I was smuggled aboard by a faithful servant. But now I am one of age and I have returned to reclaim my rightful, rightful presidency. He died soon after his act of perfidity. The judgment of heaven, no doubt. His son now calls himself president, but as his claim is tainted, he is no less a usurper than his father, and I will topple him from the presidency. I'll, I wish you... Why does he go... In he talk, my character talks about the US and the presidency 
this guy's office rocks and talks about Great Britain and being a prince at the same time he's talking about Abraham Lincoln being the king of America. You're weird. And you're weird for staying with him. Or maybe it's the booze. I don't know. Who are you anyways? Deborah. Uh, no. You know what? This place is fucked up, so I'm gonna go and get the hell out of here. Uh, marketplace. No, what do I need here? Nothing. Let's head. I want. Who want we? We want to enlist with the. Do I have to? I want to. I want to check out this lair. There's 15 pirates in the lair. Do I need a boat? I think I need a boat to get out of there. What we need to do is find someone to tell us where. What's his face? Wait, is it Lee that's here? Ewell. This fort is controlled by Ewell. Oh, I like your hairstyle, boy. It's so cute! Oh. General Stephen Dealey. So, it's, who is this then? And why is he. Is it Robert E. Lee or. No? Who is Steve? Stephen. It's like st his Lee's cousin, Stephen. Have you never heard of Stephen? Yeah, he was a general. What the hell did he do? Nothing. And then it turns out that I'm totally unaware of this great general, Stephen Lee. Mobile suburbs. I'm not entirely sure wha what's up with these th places. Oh yeah, let's, um, we can talk, maybe, there we go. Let's talk with General Braxton Bragg. And see where we can find. He looks awfully tan for being a southern general. Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. Ask you something. The location of Jefferson Davis. Okay, so Jefferson Davis is in General Robert E. Lee, Stonewall Jackson, uh, Jubal Earl, Joseph E. Johnston, John Bell Hood, Jeb Stewart, Pickett, uh, George Magruder, um, John C. Benjamin Chenham, T. Uh, Beauregard, very good, Edmund Kermy Smith. Albert Sidney Johnston, a few of these. I know quite a few of these, but uh, James Longstreet, Richard Anderson, and yeah, Nathan Bedford Forrest. Feels like I'm missing someone. Mm, no. And then we have all the ladies. Uh, well, yeah, I was supposed to ask him something. Location of Jefferson Davis. He is close to fortification of Petersburg at the moment. So the fortification of Petersburg. Where the hell is that? Petersburg. Petersburg? There's some fortifications there. But he's the... Fortica oh, so he's we need to get to Richmond. So we'll travel on to Richmond. Hooray! Hooray! And on their way, we'll hit mobile suburbs. There is where the village of Independence has been looted by s the Sioux Sheep Little Crows party. These here suburbs. Let's see. There's 15 raiders inside. You will not capture me this time. Don't give me give up. But you are dead. Why are we attacking this place? Okay there. Troops. Everyone. Form single row. Here they come. Fire my command. We're gonna do this 
army style since I'm about to join the South. They're closing in. Be ready, boys. Everyone's terrible aim, though, so... I'll ex expect you not even to hit them if they're... A few feet in front of you. Although I can hear the bullets coming by us. They're firing like crazy, boys. Make ready for a volley. Pew! Old man, fire! I think we hit one of them. He said, ouchie. Second volley. We haven't killed anyone, although we took some hits. Old man! Fire! We shot two of them. Fire will! They're too close! I'll charge him. I'll charge him th from the rear. It looks as though the sharpshooters are doing a good job. So we can count on the sharpshooters to actually get some stuff done. But the other ones are terrible. I'm gonna come in here. Down to down. Here we go. Boom. Yeah. But then someone more. No. This is the last guy then. Or it was the last guy. We won! Yeehaw! No casualties. Coach shotgun. That's what I have right. Yep. Uh, we have so much money. I don't know if... Yeah, let's just take it. Suburbs of mobile. Some soldiers are ready to be upgraded. Footman. Infantry veteran. Best shooter cavalryman. Wait. Uh, uh. Hmm. Anyways, sharpshooter. We need a lot of sharpshooters. Saint Juan. Suburbs is where we're gonna hit next. Then we're gonna go for... I think maybe we should go directly from there to Savannah. Actually, going to this place is kind of unnecessary because we'll only end up in a fight. That's uh, kind of pointless. Oh! Damn it! I forgot to turn that off. But this... I guess that's okay. Otherwise we'll just run around for ages. I'll have to remember to turn that off. And here we go, coming into Savannah. Oh, there's bandits here. We have to attack them and save the village. <laughs> oh, there's right over there. Men, form single rank, form in this hedgerow. It's very open here. I guess the uh, workers have gone home for the day. Fire my command. We're gonna wait the men. Get in line, you stupid farmer. We're gonna wait the enemy in. Keep your aim point there, them boys. I know each one of you. Bob Magruder. Pinky Mac Shorty Face, Old Mac Snooty, uh, Bob Mac, Mac Jiffy Hat, and Long Rifle Smith uh, Face Off. All great people. Ready for volley fire! Fire! We got two of them. I delivered seven damage. Old man, fire! Ooh, we actually took down quite a bit there. We took down the cluster. 
Man, make ready for another fire. Fire! Ooh. Now we send in the cavalry. Look at what a gunslinger like me can do. Boom. There's one boy left. Let me deal with him. Look at this, boys. Yee And then some random destruction. Woohoo! One farmer was killed. Uh, sure. These humble peasants need everything they can to fighting the tyranny of Abra the King Abraham Lincoln. I'll head over to Charleston. Robert E. Lee! I need to say hello to that guy. Hey there, Robert. How you doing? I'm Robert E. Lee, an officer of... And I'm the Lord of Charleston! I see you carry a noble's banner. Apparently I carry a noble's banner. But no one knows who I am. Mm, marketplace. Would we'll sell the stuff. Didn't I pick up something else? No, apparently not. Arms. Two set of Remingtons. Buying them is really expensive. Cannonballs. Wait, you can buy... Wait, what's this? Artillery set. Needs artillery set ammo. Costs 10,000 though. And it doesn't have a picture. But that's why you have the cannonball. Ooh, this this pistol looks nice. We need one of those, these things, I think. Cost eighteen hundred. We have we have plenty of money for that. Let's go ahead and buy that. I think that's gonna be a good investment. I don't think we should probably look at uh uniforms just yet until we're actually in the army looking nice looking nice uh, governor's mansion hello there jasmine there's no one here of consequence Oh yeah, we should go to the tavern. We need a doctor for our party. Sailor, traveler, farmer. Farmer's always in trouble, but we don't have time for them. Oh yeah, I'll test out the rifle. Look at my ass. See how long does it take to reload? It's pretty okay reload time. Django! Wait, 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 <laughs> Django? Really? Well, perhaps your ignorance can be forgiven. Our ancestral land is... Okay, so... My name is Django, <laughs> with a D at the beginning, but it's silent. He smiles. Django. I was a slave and I went through any kind of trouble, but now I want to avoid any further mess. I run such a company, I might be able to hire and good. I just hope that the color of my skin will not be a problem for, some, for you or someone else. Very well, I'll be glad to uh, have you with us, Django. Excellent. Before we depart, I kindly lend me $300. I want to help some free... free Freed slaves that I met. Certainly, here's three hundred dollars. Well, Django is obviously not going to be our doctor, but um, Rasmus the Ransomer. Okay, so that's uh, what they. C I've got Django. Django. The D is silent. I haven't actually seen Django, so but I know about it. And I've seen some stuff of YouTube. Yanko. 
Let's see your equipment. So you got ooh, modified Colt, twin revolvers, special bullets. He's got a Bowie knife. Django frock. He's got a special <laughs> Django black hat. Django, Django, Django. It's kind of weird now that we're where Django. Django's got trade. First aid, surgery, wound treatment, wound treatment nine. Spot. Well, he is basically a tracking nine tactics two. G well, he I. Well, we don't need anyone else. Django is surgery seven. He's like we hardly need anything else. Now it kind of feels weird to join the south if we've got Django P uh, going with us. I need to see the I need to see the film. So I get a more better understanding. Let's hit the desert this deserts. Uh the deserters. And after that I think we'll end this video because I have no clue how long I played. Once again I forgot to take check the time. I wanna see Django in action. Everyone hold here. Let's see. Okay, uh fire my command. Let's see if we can control Django. Cavalry. Where is he? He's with him. Oh, we should have set him for his own. Okay, there's tons of Confederates coming at us. Confederate Okay, this might not have been a good idea fighting these boys. Django! Get out of there! Jesus Christ, there's so many of them. Ooh, I hit the friendly troop. In that renegade fire off. What do you think you're going? We're out to free some slaves. Play with some claves. Boom! Where's Django? I think I should probably take Django's knife from him. So he only goes for his revolver. This is the kind of point where we've got one guy left, but I would let Django. Django doesn't even. There we go. Boom! Oh, yes! Django shot him. Nice. Keep it up, Django. Okay, everyone, hold your fire. I'm gonna deal with this last one. Down, da -da -down. Look at this, Django. Look at this. What the hell? Pirate. Did we win? Yeah, we won. Look at this, Django. All these bloody confederates. <laughs> Good show, Django. Cavalry guy, pirate. No, oh, well, pff, I don't want to take any bloody prisoners. Big saber. Let's take everything. Wilmington. Uh, and upgrade the people, and then we go about ending this show. Sharpshooters. Oh, I got another level. Intelligence. And then we're gonna go for trade. Django had like shitloads of trade, so let's go for draw and shoot. Draw and shoot, yeah. So now I should do loads of damage. Also, I saw that someone else was doing. Now we got Django, which I obviously gone not gonna change his name, but I saw someone else do, and where he had a lot of these um, companions. And he actually named them after like subscribers, so I thought maybe that's a thing. 
Now, obviously, I'm not gonna rename Django, but I th I, I think you can rename them because I saw someone do it. I'm not entirely sure how, but might be something to do as well. Um, now, since we got Django, should I still go with the South? Not sure. So yeah, some stuff to think about. And you know what? I'll see you for the next one. Bye.